Mr. Poe. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, America continues to find itself in the midst of a massive economic downturn. Unemployment continues to rise, and there are currently 15 million Americans out of work. This is the highest number ever in the history of the United States. Just in the month of October, 190,000 jobs were eliminated somewhere in the United States. And on top of these stark numbers, the deficit continues to get higher and higher. We spent nearly a trillion dollars on the stimulus, yet 2,800,000 jobs have been lost since this bill passed. Now some contend we need to spend another trillion on new government-run health care system, yet nothing has been done to address a problem that continues to raise the deficit and increase unemployment. And of course, this is about illegal immigration. Americans are hurting and we cannot afford to continue to delay. The question is, where are the jobs for Americans, not where are the jobs for illegals? We've heard for years under this administration and the previous administration that illegals who give tacit approval to be in the United States are doing jobs that Americans won't do. I think that is insulting to the American worker. I find it personally insulting to me and my family. Despite rising unemployment numbers and deficits, the administration refuses to take real measures to secure the borders and stop people from coming in the United States without permission of the American government. No country on earth has the poor border security system that the United States does. Third world countries protect their borders better than we do. But yet here we are, the superpower of the world, and continue to have open borders and allow people to come in here without verifying who they are. We know all the reasons why people come to the United States, uh, but everybody coming to the United States is not looking for work. We're getting the good and the bad and the ugly, and right now we're getting a lot of bad and ugly. The only way to solve this problem is to make sure that people come here for whatever reason, don't come into the United States without permission of the United States. When an illegal arrives at a hospital in this country without insurance and needs medical attention, of course that person is treated. We have universal health care coverage for people that are illegally in the nation. But somebody pays, and that happens to be the U.S. taxpayer. When an illegal immigrant commits a crime, the victim pays. The criminal justice system pays out monetarily to house that individual when they go to the jail jails or uh, the penitentiaries. When an illegal immigrant without car insurances causes a collision on an interstate or a highway, all of the innocent people on their way to work or to pick up their kids from school, they pay. They pay uh, physically with physical damage and they also pay uh, out-of-pocket expenses. We all pay insurance and we all pay higher insurance because of the rates uh, rise to pay for the uninsured, and many of those people are illegally in the country, supposedly doing jobs that Americans won't do. When a meatpacking plant chooses to pay low wages to illegal immigrants, when, it, an illegal, uh, when a business chooses to pay on the cash economy and no one is paying taxes, instead of hiring American workers, the U.S. taxpayer pays and, of course, the American worker pays. The list continues to go on and on, and the cost of illegals in this country uh, are hard, especially during the best of economic times. Some, of, uh, some have argued that the economic problems we're having now will solve the illegal, ish illegal immigration issue without need for intervention because many illegal immigrants will simply go home. I don't think that's the case. I think now while we have the opportunity, and we've had this opportunity for decades, we must address this issue and put the American worker first even those that wish to take those jobs that now uh, it's official American policy, jobs that they won't do that we turn over to uh, people that are illegally in the country. I think that philosophy is absurd. We need to control the borders, control the people who come into the United States, and people shouldn't work in the United States without permission of the United States government. And when it comes to deciding what's best for the American public or what's best for an American an illegal that's in this country, I think we should come down on the side of the American worker. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Powell.